Hey everyone, so we're back with embedding onboarding form. And if you recall in the last video, we created that type form. And now I'm going to show you how to place this on your website so you can uh, send this to your client so they can actually fill out the information. And actually this form uh, will, uh, it'll be part of an automated process where they just get the link after paying. Uh, but we'll go into that uh, in another automation video that I create. So let's go into Typeform. So let me get back over to, to that screen. All right, so here we are on the dashboard and this was the Typeform that we already created. So I'll click back on that, pull it up. Let that load. And all we're gonna do at the top here is click on the share button. Or the share tab rather. And uh, from this point, we're going to look at more ways to share. And we want to click on this option here, embed into a web page. So we'll, we'll click on that. And you may need to play around with these settings. Um, I like to use seamless mode. And basically, it turns off the background of the footer and the header so that it looks seamless in the website. So I turn that on and um, don't really worry about transparency um, we're going to hide the footer hide the header leave that the way it is and we can leave this as standard um, so what i'll do now is click get the code and i'm just going to click this button here to copy the code all right so now what we need to do is go to our website and embed this form on the website. So I'm going to assume that you have a WordPress website since that's what we're teaching in this course. Um, so let me go over to that page. Okay, so I've just logged into my website. I'm in the back end here in the WP-admin section. And I wanna to go to pages because I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to uh, use this as the onboarding page. So let's go ahead and uh, click on this button at the top for add new. And I'm just going to label this onboarding. And then I wanna make sure that under the editor here that I'm on the text tab. All right, because we're going to paste that HTML code here. Um, and if you don't have it um, on the text tab, if you have it on the visual tab, it won't uh, render properly once you save it and publish it. So let's go ahead and publish this. Let that save. And there's actually another setting that I want to put on here. Um, so actually, typically what I do is I leave the URL as onboarding, but then I'll change the title here to uh, please complete information well. And uh, I like to go down to this section here. Now this is assuming you have Yoast SEO already installed on your WordPress site. You don't necessarily need this one, but um, it has an option where we want to mark this page as no index, meaning the search engines will not index this page inside of the search results because we don't want this page to be found. We don't want it to be known by the public. This is a page that people only get to see after they have paid. Um, so I don't know if you caught that, but I clicked on the advanced uh, drop down here and then you see this section, allow search engines to show this page in search results. We're going to change that from yes to no. All right, and then we're gonna go up here and we're just going to click on update. And to verify that it worked correctly, let's view the page now. And we should see our normal website with our normal header and our footer if we have one. 
And of course, here is the actual form that we wanted people to see to start with. And they can click continue here and go through the entire process. Now, depending on uh, the formatting of your site, you may want to adjust the embed code height of it. So if I go back over to type form, I'll show you that. Okay, so if you weren't happy with the height of the area which type form exists, so the, the frame essentially of, of uh, type form, you can either decrease that height or increase it. Um, I typically leave it as is. Um, another option is, is if you don't want to uh, show anything on the page but type form is to use the full page option. And this would take up the entire page. And this is actually not a bad option because sometimes people can get distracted. Um, so I'll leave that decision up to you. Um, if you decide to use the full page, it's the same process. You just click get code and you would grab that code the same way. And then you just paste it in your uh, WordPress site. All right, so that is all you need to do for this video. So you just, just to recap, we're, we're getting the embed code. We're making sure it's on the text tab of WordPress and we are marking that page as no index and we are just labeling that page onboarding in the url just for simplicity but of course uh, these options are just my recommendations and you can modify that as you see fit all right that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one